I'm so excited for this week. Why? Um, because it's a high school only show this week. Why? Because it's finally our turn to have a high school focus show. Why? Oh my goodness, can you stop saying why? Mm, why? Okay, let's talk about how this evening is senior night. She speaks. Senior night is tonight. Wait, tonight? Yeah, why? I gotta go get ready. Hey, I'm Daniel, and welcome to this week's Devotions. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of good friends. Having good friends is very important because they can encourage you and be there for you in hard times. But it is also important who you choose to be your close friends. Proverbs 12, 26 says, The righteous choose their friends carefully, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. Your friends, well, they're who you hang out with the most and have a pretty big influence on you whether you realize it or not. What I mean is that you will become like the people that you spend the most time around for the better or for the worse. That is why it is so crucial to surround yourself with close friends that encourage you in your relationship with the Lord and build you up with their words and actions. But you can still be friends with people who you know are not saved and show them the love of Jesus. For Jesus was even friends with those who didn't follow God. And we were all not saved at some point in our lives too until God moved and we accepted the free gift of salvation. So, as you go throughout this next week, try to think of one friend that you know is not a Christian and invite them to church or a midweek group. Pray for God to give you guidance on how to be a friend to them and point them to what Jesus has done for us. That is all I have for devotions today, and I hope that you all have an amazing week. Hey Eagles! This last Tuesday was National Color Day. So today, that's what our question is about. What was the first color to be discovered by nature? Uh, green? Green. Blue. Green. Red. We're back, and no one got the question right this week. Surprisingly, the answer was hot pink. Because there was a rock found in the desert? It's really interesting. Well, that's all for this week. We'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Faith. And I'm Sophia. And this week, we're taking over Would You Rather. This week's question is going to be, would you rather have a button to pause time or to reverse time? Let's go see what HCA has to say. Would you rather pause time or reverse time? Reverse time. Pause time. Reverse. Reverse. Um, I would pause time. I would reverse time. Um, I would rather reverse time. I would rather reverse time. I would rather reverse time. Would you rather pause time or reverse time? Oh, that's easy. Um, if I could reverse time, go ahead and go back, fix some stuff, change some stuff, get all the sneakers I missed out on, boom, right back to present time, have all the cool stuff now. Those were some great answers. What would you do? I would choose the pause button. Nothing's pausing. Um, make sure to comment down below what you think. That's all for Would You Rather. Have a great week. What's up, Eagles? I'm Monty, and today I'm here with a new segment I like to call Monty Mentions. Today I'm going to be going around asking Eagles what their favorite Reformation Day candy is. So let's see what they have to say. What's your favorite Reformation Day candy? That would be nerds, I think. Uh, the shack gummies? Kit Kats. Wow, those are some pretty interesting answers. I don't think I've actually ever heard of anybody eating almond joy. All that being said, I think my favorite Reformation Day candy is Reese's Cup. I hope you had a great time watching it. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what are you doing? I'm practicing. For what? Senior night. Duh. Well, you know, you might want to actually practice for, you know, the game. I can do that later. But for now, on to Sports with Robbie. Hey guys, I'm Rob, back in with High School Sports. This week, we'll start with the volleyball teams, who last week lost against Valley Prep 1-3. However, on Tuesday of this week, the girls traveled to Lucas Christian and beat the Warriors in their own gym 3-1. to The middle school girls also played against Lucas Christian, and both teams lost. Tonight at 7, the girls play at home against Sacred Heart for senior night. Come support our volleyball seniors, including our own Eagle TV anchor, Jordan Foster. On to football. Last week, both middle school and varsity crushed Lake Hill Prep on senior night. Middle school ended the game early in the third quarter, going up by 45. And varsity won 62-0. The varsity guys keep on rolling, bumping their record to 7-0, and they stand first in district, hoping for a deep playoff run. Tomorrow night, both teams travel to Garland Christian. So come and show support to your HCA.
That's all for this week. I'll see you next time. Hey, I'm Daniel, and today I'm filling in for Lola for HGA Updates. This past Monday, the HGA Drumline went to go compete for the very first time. In the TAP State Championship, they scored second place in their tier, a Division I ranking, and earned an award for an outstanding snare line. This is the Drumline Captain, Lexi Sherman. Lexi, how have you seen the Drumline improve since you've been a part of it? Our technique has definitely improved. We've been able to play harder things. Our practice time has also been more... Um, we have practiced like before school now and on weekends. And then what has been your favorite part about being on the HJ drum line? Definitely the people. Um, the, all of the people are, have, are very willing to learn, try new things, and they're overall just a great environment to be around. Thank you. This coming Friday, elementary does not have school for their t it is teacher in service. Also this Friday is high school mission day and we will be released early. We wish the best as our one act heads down to Prince of Peace in Carrollton on Friday and compete Saturday for district. And this is Mrs. Draper. Mrs. Draper, what have you enjoyed this year the most about directing the one act? Um, I mean, our cast for one. We have a really talented cast and they've all been working really hard. Um, and our script this year has a good mix of comedy and drama. So it's been a little bit more challenging. There's some spots where the dialogue has to be timed exactly right and whatnot. Um, so it's definitely made for some very entertaining rehearsals. And then um, last, what are you looking forward to the most about competition? Um, just getting to see them fully perform it for once um, on a stage very different from our own. Um, we'll have a more complex lighting system and things of that nature um, that we don't usually get to work with, which will be really good. Um, and no mics though, that's against the rules. Um, so yeah, just getting to see them perform it in a different space um, and then the cast bonding that always happens at competition is a lot of fun. For all the musical people, auditions are just around the corner. This year's musical is You Are a Good Man, Charlie Brown. Flyers are posted around the school for signing up for cast or crew for middle school or high school. And auditions will be held this month on the 29th in Heritage Hall. And don't forget, Eagles, that the bash is quickly approaching. So make sure that you are going out there and selling your tickets. This year's annual Black and Red Bash will be held on November 16th in the HA Gym. Go to hjrockwell.org to buy tickets. Well, that's all the updates that I have for you, and I will see y'all later. Well, looky here, I'm just a star of the show, ain't I? I know, this week and last week. Are you excited for tonight, Coach Mac? Uh, duh, isn't everybody? I'm so excited, but also sad, because it's going to be my last home game. Are you going to go, Coach Mac? I'll be there. Of course I'll be there. Well, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you tonight.